Hey guys, Troy Francis here. So look, something slightly different for you in this video today because I want to announce the launch tomorrow on the 1st of June, 2023 of my first novel. It's called Rampant Roger, the Priapic Prime Minister, okay? Available tomorrow on Amazon uh, in all countries, in all territories. The paperback and hardback editions are in preparation, so they're going to be out in the next couple of days. But the ebook, the Kindle version, is certainly going to be out tomorrow. Okay, Rampant Roger by T. Francis. So I wanted to just tell you a little bit about this because the first thing I want to say is that most people, obviously, they come to my content because they know me as a dating coach, they know me as somebody who's written about dating and about attraction and indeed perhaps about the wider sort of red pill social dynamics uh, stuff and all of that's fine all of that's fine this is not a book about those things specifically okay there is a bit of an element of it i'll talk about in a second but it's not a book about how to get better with dating or how to meet more women or anything like that okay what this is is a novel so it's a fiction book about a prime minister who is very anti-woke and kind of old-fashioned and a bit of a Boris Johnson type guy who used to shag a lot of women when he was younger and have a very good time and now is finding that the times are catching up with him because obviously we live in a time of political correctness and um, you can't get away with saying certain things that maybe you used to be able to get away with saying. I think we all know what I'm talking about. So it's kind of a an anti-woke sort of a not anti-woke exactly that would be wrong to say that but it, it satirizes some of the woke culture it also satirizes some of the conservative stuff as well to be fair so it kind of goes at both sides at the same time but you've got a whole bunch of cool characters in here i believe you've got roger who's this sort of old-fashioned sexist dinosaur who doesn't really understand about you know the way the, the modern world is um he gets caught out in a sex scandal and he gets blackmailed for a large sum of money for five million pounds, which he hasn't got because he's skint, because like Boris Johnson, uh, he is <laughs> kind of well known for, for actually not having any money despite being the prime minister. So he has to spend the rest of the week going around trying to get the five million dollars, or sorry, five million pounds, before the secret is revealed with photographs, with videos to the world's media. Okay, which is going to mean the end of his career. And it's also going to mean the end of his relationship with his young, very beautiful fiance, who's called Caprice, who he's been with for a period of time. She's very hot. Um, she's very, she's a lot younger than him. Um, and she's, well, somewhat flighty. She has her own ideas about uh, how they should be spending their money and what they should be doing with the interior decor of the flat and, and everything else. Uh, other characters are his ex-wife, uh, Phyllis, who he has, who he was married to for 25 years and who he has a couple of kids with, and they are now finalizing their divorce. And his brother, Mycroft, who is a political genius of the Dom Cummings variety. If you guys are familiar with uh, British politics over the last few years, he's a Dom Cummings sort of a character, a, a master strategist who sits around smoking opium the whole time and uh, assists various political figures in their Machiavellian pursuits. Um, and we've got a guy called Harry, who is a uh, underworld muckraker who works for a lot of the, the, the tabloid red top newspapers. And he helps uh, assist Roger in finding out who his tormentors are, who his blackmailers are, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so it, it's a satirical novel that pokes fun at British politics, but politics more generally. Um, it looks at what it is to be the leader of a country, uh, the degree to which selfishness plays a part in these things. I mean, do any of these people, do any of our politicians really care about what they're meant to be doing or are they just there for their own personal gain? Um, I think we all have our own opinions on that. Um, another character actually is a, a Eastern European style or former USSR style dictator who wrestles bears and rides horses uh, with his top off and um, boils 
people that he doesn't like in pots up and down his country, he comes into play as well. So there's quite a lot of sort of current political stuff in this, as well as, as I say, talking about some of the woke culture, some of the crazy stuff that that we see going on in particularly in the in the West, in the UK, in America, and so on. Um, it's a book that I wrote pretty quickly actually i had the idea for it when i was coming back from la in january on the plane i think that's because when you because i don't drink or do drugs now so but when you kind of um change when you kind of do things to destabilize your your normal mental state if that makes sense sometimes these ideas come to you and this idea came to me for this this guy this character i fleshed out the story pretty quickly uh, it took a few weeks to plan out the story. Then I wrote the whole thing in about a month, um, edited it, and now it's ready to go. And I'm going to be recording an audiobook version of it very soon as well. So look, I mean, as I say, this is not a book about how to meet more women or not a book about like, oh, so I'm in the shopping center and I met this girl. What do I text her? Blah, blah, blah. It's not any of that stuff. So if that's what you're looking for, don't buy it, okay? Um, what it is, is my first novel, or at least I've written some stuff privately before, but this is my first novel, I think, that works successfully as a story, okay, as a narrative. I think it's a, a rollicking good read. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's, as I say, there's a lot of amusing, hopefully satirical stuff in there, kind of punk, uh, taking the, the piss out of the current uh, political scene, certainly in the UK and, 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 and elsewhere. Um, and... It's funny because a lot of people who are in the uh, red pill space or the men's self-development space or whatever, they always bang on about, you know, work on your mission, have a mission and blah, blah, blah. And obviously I work on this channel and uh, I coach guys and I help guys in different capacities and I've written books talking about dating and social dynamics. But a key passion for me is writing, okay? A key passion for me is is writing and writing fiction. and this is an expression of that all right you know i've actually put my money where my mouth is sat down had to be pretty disciplined while i was writing this damn thing and you know quite hard work to sit down and knock out a set number of words every day even when you don't feel like it okay and produce something which i believe is a is a, is a high quality piece of work so i'm very proud of it and i want people to read it i want you to read it but as I say, the disclaimer is it's not a book about how to get laid or any of that kind of stuff. More of that coming soon, by the way. That's the the, the next project is going to be more along those lines. But um, this is a work of fiction. I'm pricing it low. So um, on publication, it's just going to be 99 cents. All right. So if you want to support me, if you want to support me and you want to support the channel, even if you don't want to read it, OK, you can buy it anyway because it's only 99 cents. So it's like, you know, it's it's nothing really. Uh, the price will go up at some point in the future. But at the moment, I'm just keeping it low price because, you know, it was a side project really. But it's something that I very much want people to have a look at, uh, read and let me know what they think. So if you can do that and if you can read it, buy it, read it and then write a review on Amazon. OK, and then you send me the review via email and you show that you've bought it and you've, you've written that review, then there will be a special prize for you as well, or there'll be a special gift for you to say thank you. So Rampant Roger, out on the 1st of June. It's a novel. It's not a book about how to meet girls or any of that kind of stuff, but it is a rollicking good read. It's something that, you know, this is, this is passion for me, guys. I mean, as I say, we always talk about working on your mission. Well, my mission really has always been as, as a writer, fundamentally, and this is uh, the the product of that. So uh, I would love it if you if you bought it and you read it and you let me know what you think about it. As I say, if all you're here for is the dating stuff, then this is not that. Um, but yeah, keen to hear what you guys think. And um, in closing, what can I say in closing? I think what I can say in closing is that in life, you have to do things that excite you and you have to do things that you're passionate about, okay? And sometimes... You're doing things for a com for commercial reasons, okay? And the commercial reasons may cross over with your personal interests. Like I have a YouTube channel, I talk about dating and stuff, and that's a personal interest of mine, right? So there is there is crossover. But other times, there are going to be things that you want to do, and maybe they don't have that same commercial kind of kind of kind of aspect to them. But you still got to do them anyway. All right, because that's what it's about. This is what being on your mission is about. This is what having purpose in life is about. It's about doing the stuff that you actually want to do because we're all going to be dead pretty soon. 
I certainly am. I've probably got about 25 minutes left. So I needed to do this. I needed to write this book and get it out there. And it is out there now, or it will be tomorrow, 1st of June. Rampant Roger. I'll stick the uh, link below for Amazon. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the book. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.